Maternal mortality is a stark marker of inequity globally. The burden is highest among the poor, where access to health care and quality of that care is limited. The problem is compounded by lack of information on the scale of maternal mortality, who are most at risk and specific barriers to care. Such information is vital. The maternal risk period is defined as the 46-week period covering pregnancy, delivery and 42 days postpartum. And a maternal death is the death of a woman while pregnant or within 42 days of the end of a pregnancy. The definition of maternal mortality recommended by the World Health Organization includes so-called direct and indirect causes but excludes fortuitous causes which occur independent of the pregnancy. Direct causes include those caused by obstetric conditions, such as pre- and postpartum hemorrhage, obstructed labor, obstetric hypertension causing eclampsia and preeclampsia, puerperal sepsis, abortion, and a variety of causes which are the consequence of the pregnancy itself and which do not occur independent of pregnancy. Indirect causes are communicable or non-communicable conditions which are assumed to be worsened by the pregnancy. These include infectious diseases such as listeria and other conditions such as anemia. Other conditions causing death during the maternal risk period should be counted as maternal only if the pregnancy itself increases the likelihood of death. If not, these conditions are considered fortuitous and should be excluded. Our studies in rural South Africa show that the most frequent causes of death of women in their reproductive ages, namely HIV, AIDS and tuberculosis, as well as most communicable and non-communicable diseases, are not statistically associated with the pregnancy. In fact, the relative risk of death from causes such as HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, cancer, diabetes and cardiovascular disease is lower than one, which means that the pregnancy is actually protective, increasing survival. Furthermore, the analysis of maternal mortality trends monitored in our study area over a 20-year period show that increases and decreases can be explained by HIV, AIDS and tuberculosis, which are not risk factors for maternal mortality. These findings have important consequences, including among maternal deaths, diseases unrelated to the pregnancy may seriously bias the levels and trends of maternal mortality and provide misleading information about the impact of preventive measures. We strongly recommend, therefore, that the new international recommendations scheduled for 2014, the ICD-11, should no longer classify as maternal deaths those causes not proven to be aggravated by the pregnancy. Rather, they should focus on a very specific definition of maternal mortality and include only diseases known to be related to the pregnancy and its consequences. This is particularly important for evaluating progress towards the Millennium Development Goal 5, which aims to reduce maternal mortality.